Well, I started doing macrame as a hobby um, and I quickly realized how much I enjoyed making these items and how much people also loved the items that I gifted them and um, with that I decided to develop my business um, which I started off I think it was late last year or early this year um, and I presently I'm only available online so I have a Facebook page and a, an Instagram page um, that you can view if you're interested in looking at some of the items that I have um, it's called loop and pull and one of the things that I decided on early in, in, in this venture was that I wanted my my product to be as sustainable as possible so I, I have sourced um, zero waste cord that is made from recycled material um, and I try to make all of the material that I use like packaging for example to be as sustainable as possible um, and with this investment that has been given to my business I will be able to continue sustainably um, developing my business through um, obtaining you know like environmentally sourced um, environmental packaging sourced locally and other um, raw materials that are sourced locally through um, other Belizean entrepreneurs. Um, I wanted to create added value to local ingredients and so in our products we actually grow a lot of the ingredients that also purchase from farmers. So we use aloe vera, lemongrass, turmeric, cacao, seaweed and much more. And so for example we take like the cacao and there's so much components of the cacao that we use. We use the cocoa butter in it, the um, cocoa powder and also this substance called theobromine and so we just create high performance quality products and I won the um, MSME Roadshow pitch. I, ha I feel very grateful to have won this pitch. Um, it is you know an honor to have won this money because right now everything just to go up and you know purchasing materials is very expensive so at least you know I could get some help in purchasing more materials for my business also some machinery I need some machinery so how many years have you been been venturing in this same business I actually started this business in high school I had a passion for making skincare I just made a mash up like random things here and there some banana and honey and I was learning about the benefits of natural ingredients and then I actually took a course and I finished um, last year it, I got an advanced diploma in cosmetic science and that's when I relaunched this business um, I've been a seamstress and an upholsteress for over three years and to me sewing is not just a skill or, or, or something that you do it's something that I love so it's more than just sewing you know so um, I've participated in Bell Trades pitch competition that they had here in Punta Gorda Town and therefore fortunately I was one of the winners and yes I'm very excited for this opportunity because the money that I've won would be put to many uses like getting the needles and other raw materials for my place to enhance the building you know the advice I have for the youth or anyone that look forward to entrepreneurship, it has its ups and downs, but my advice to you is never give up, never. Because they had many days that because I didn't make a sale or, or because I didn't do something well, I felt, I felt a little bit sad about it, but I've grew past that and I've learned that it will be slow sometimes. If you think about doing upholstery and seamstressing sometime down the line in the months we will provide training for those who wish to do upholstery but if you would like to see our work that we've done already you can visit our page at new look upholstery on facebook we do custom made sofa sets we do chair repair we do the canopy for the boats we do boat seats car seats anything that has a cushion we deal with so feel free please to contact us on Facebook at New Look Upholstery through Messenger, you could reach us through WhatsApp, or feel free to send us a regular text or visit us on Jose Maria Street near Dickie's Barber Shop.
Thank you for trusting us with your seatings.